Yankees, welcome back. So I've got my February Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've tried out the goodies inside. So I'm gonna run through the different products and just let you know my thoughts and give you some little mini reviews. So let's get to it. So the theme this month is Would You Be My Galentine? So super cute, just kind of like a Valentine sort of a theme. So let's just jump right into the products. The first thing that I got is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. And it says renews skin radiance, polishes and smooths, helps diminish the look of fine lines. This looks like a full size to me from what I can tell. It doesn't actually like say that, but it's a retail price of $79. So I would hope that this is the full size for $79. It says the original skin exfoliating procedure. Dampen skin with warm water, slowly and gently massage the cream onto skin for one to two minutes, avoiding the eye area. Rinse well, pat dry. Best if used one to two times per week, allowing three days between application. So I did use this last night and it seems like a really nice exfoliator. Like it's very, um, it's got, I probably need to use it on my hands right now because my hands are super dry, but it seems like a really like, I don't know, like it's got really tiny gritty things in it. Like that's the only way that I can think to describe it. Like it's not harsh feeling, but I mean, it really does exfoliate because it's got a lot of those little like exfoliating beads in it. It's just really gritty, like really fine sand or something. So after I used it, my skin felt very smooth. It felt very soft. Like it did feel like it just kind of like took off that dead skin and really helped exfoliate my skin. So I don't know about really like um, diminishing the look of fine lines. I'm not really sure. I haven't used it long enough to do that, but I would say that it polishes and smooths and Renew skin radiance. Yeah, I could see that because it's kind of getting off the dead skin. So you're getting that like, you know, fresh skin, skin, you know what I mean? So I do really like this, this is nice. Next I got some brushes. This is the Omnia Eye Kit by Royal and Lane Nickel. And this is a retail price of $29.98. It says Omnia Gold and Rose Gold brushes were developed with the natural hair purest in mind and features meticulously selected natural hair of the finest quality for impeccable performance. This luxurious hair allows the artist to precisely deposit powder product to specific areas of the face and allows for perfect absor absorbency, yes, absorbency and release for every application, whether powder, liquid, or cream product. It says use your BOM 40 shader brush to sweep the shadow across the eyelid and blend out with ease is kind of their like boxy charm tip. So I did use these today and also used them yesterday. These are really nice. Like they're very, um, I don't know, soft feeling like they're natural hair, I guess, but they're just a really like soft feel to them. So what I did is I used the larger one for, um, my brow bone highlight and it was really nice for that. Like dense enough to, um, deposit the product well, but also kind of like moves enough to blend it and it does feel just nice and soft And then I use this one. Do these have a label? This is the BOM 18 detailer No, just detail and then this is the um, the other one is the BOM 40 shader So I use this one on my lower lash line and it was really nice for that too again very soft So I like these I think these seem like really nice brushes and I love the gold and rose gold. I think they're really pretty looking. Then I got a little Z palette and we'll go over what's inside of it next, but this is the small Z palette and it's a retail price of $14. It says completely customizable. This small Z palette made exclusively for BoxyCharm features an open face magnetic base that allows you to easily switch out shades and products as often as you like. This pint size Z palette will fit just about anywhere and fits up to nine standard size round pans. I love Z palettes. I've used them for years. I think they're so nice. It's cute that it says boxy charm on the back. So it's cool that they did it exclusively for them. I love the little like design on it and the little heart. It's just a really cute, nice, small palette. It's got a great magnet here. So that feels really nice and secure, like the actual lid. And then the actual magnet down here is really nice and strong. So things stick to it really well. They don't move around. I love Z palettes. I mean, they're awesome. I have them in different sizes. I've used them for a long time. I think they're great. So this is awesome. And then inside are two eyeshadows that I got. And these are from Makeup Geek. And these are retail price of $12, so $6 each. 
says a highly pigmented, high-end shadow for half the price without sacrificing quality. Totally agree with that. This Makeup Geek eyeshadow can be used alone or placed in a Z palette to build your own custom palette. These buttery smooth shadows are cruelty free. So I got the shades Glamorous and Bitten. Bitten I already had, so this is the one that I already had, so I just grabbed that one. But I didn't have Glamorous. Um, these are both so pretty. I have these on my eyes today. I feel like I was missing out not having Glamorous because that is beautiful. It's like a gorgeous coppery gold color more copper than gold and then bitten is kind of like a um uh like a burgundy sort of a shade and it's i think pretty much matte maybe slightly satin but i think it's mostly matte but they are just so nice makeup geek eyeshadows are some of my very favorites they blend like a dream they are so easy to work with they're pigmented, they wear really well throughout the day. She has a ton of different colors. So anything you're looking for, she probably has it in her line. Super affordable, I just think they're awesome. Now I did apply Glamorous um, with MAC Fix Plus today, so I have it foiled, but I do have it just regular on my lower lash line. It's still really pigmented, obviously you can see it right there. It's still really pigmented, even not foiled, but I just love the, that like super metallic look of foiling a shadow with some MAC Fix Plus or whatever mixing medium you use or spray or whatever, but I just like that look. So I applied it um, with a little bit of that today, but it's still really pretty without that. So I love these. I'm excited to get some eyeshadows. And just a little side note, the Z palette does come with some little like sticky magnets. So if you have some products that don't have a magnetic back to them already, you can just use these. So that's a nice little added touch that they put those in there. Okay, and then lastly, I got this product. This is by Juice Beauty. This is the Reflecting Gloss in the shade Fig. It's a retail price of $15 and it says, shimmer your lips in brilliant color with this reflecting gloss that contains a blend of organic, antioxidant rich, acai and goji berries, minerals and sweet agave for the most brilliant shine on earth. So I do have this on today. Um, I was really excited about this, like just seeing it in the packaging, it looks like really, really pretty and it's still really pretty. Um, I think some people are going to love this because it is not sticky at all. It's very kind of like, um, almost feels like an oil treatment for your lips and then it has some color to it. So it's very kind of like liquidy and very, um, almost like oily feeling. That sounds bad, but it just has that sort of like lip treatment feel to it. it has some really good color to it also, like color and shine. Um, but I'm not thinking this is gonna stay around very long. So it's kind of like a toss up with, you know, glosses. You either kind of, typically you either get like really comfortable and like a lip treatment sort of a feel and not much in the longevity range or area, but then you can also have the other end of the spectrum where it's more like sticky and not as comfortable, but it sticks around for a long time. So it's kind of one of those things. I think this is just one of those that's gonna be Really nice and hydrating feeling, but that you're gonna have to reapply. I do like the color though. I really like that shade. I like it. It has kind of like a metallic sort of a sheen to it. Won't be a go-to gloss for me, but I do think it's pretty and very hydrating feeling. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $149.98. So really great value to the box this month. I would say it wasn't my favorite one though, just because I get way more excited about like a highlighter or a blush or an eyeshadow palette especially so I would say wasn't my favorite but still some really good things in here like standouts for me would definitely be the makeup geek eyeshadows love the little Z palette that's really nice for traveling and I do really like these brushes like they are just really cute and seem like nice quality and honestly for the skincare lovers out there they will be so excited about this to get a $79 skincare product is really, really good. So anyway, not my favorite box, but still a really good one. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. If you wanna sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I'd love to know what you got in your box this month. Let me know that down below. Let me know what your favorite product was that you got. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.